Hi there, welcome to part 6 of open source uh, development with App Inventor. Uh, this part, uh, I'm basically wrapping up series uh, 1. Uh, we have four topics here. Uh, the first is just an announcement. I'm going to be taking a break from making videos, at least for the summer. I might uh, go back and write a few um, blog posts during this time. But I don't know. I, I think that most of the basics have been covered. So. Um, I'm happy with what, it, what it's been done so far. Um, the second part is uh, these two topics, uh, incremental development and the Java scheme interoperation. Um, this is a part of the system that uh, to me is the most interesting part, uh, technically speaking, and I know very little about it. So if you want to know more about this you should watch the hangouts uh, for May and June uh, both sessions uh, were recorded and in the session in May Jeff, Jeff gave a very good presentation about incremental development and in the uh, June hangout um, uh, there was a Q&A uh, session about Java and Scheme uh, so that is topic two uh, topic three is about discussions and the new distributions that are out there. There are there's the personal server. There is uh, Hussein's uh, new distribution, um, AI Life Complete, I believe it's called, and uh, Dave uh, Wolver's uh, a server that can um, export uh, the sources to be used with uh, Eclipse. Uh, all these things are really really nice, but please use the uh, the forums and IRC for uh, for this kind of um, for this kind of work and discussions because uh, there are a couple of examples that I will uh, link from the blog post for instance the discussion about um, the SQLite component uh, it was a very good discussion because we were not only discussing discussing about the component but we also discussed about um, the target audience for App Inventor, if there's only one type of uh, audience or there's uh, more advanced users. It's, uh, uh, it, it would be great if we could keep discussing these kind of things as, as a community uh, in the forums on IRC. Uh, the dangers of fragmentation is also a thread in the forums uh, started by Mark Friedman and it's a great read as well so uh, please keep active in the forums and uh, the last part of this uh, uh, video uh, it's uh, how to work with App Inventor 2 or um, what we used to call new blogs now it's called App Inventor 2 and I'm going to show you oh actually I have <laughs> I have a few things in here so this is as usual the App Inventor um, main site with all the documentation, the open source site, and uh, this is a link to the sorry, this is the the forum, the discussion about the SQL component, and uh, this is the discussion about the dangers of fragmentation, and finally, uh, how to work with App Inventor two. Um, you can see here if I do uh, get branch. It's telling me that it's uh, that I'm in master, and uh, what I want to do is uh, check out new blogs. You might not have this uh, branch there available yet, so for that you can do git fetch. And uh, because I'm up to date, I'm not expecting any output here. But if you were not up to date, you should see um, things downloading from the repo. And now you can just do git checkout. Um, new blocks and now it says switched to branch new blocks so if you check your branches now we should say that the star should be in new blocks so uh, as you can see here there is a blocks library in blocks editor app engine but if we do um, um, less again we see that there's an additional project here called blockly editor and this is the uh, project in which all the Blockly code uh, is, is, uh, is located. So um, 
the way of, of doing things in here is exactly the same as if you were in master. So you do an and clean and then you do an and and uh, you're going to have this uh, thing up and running. And, uh, and, and then you have to start up the server exactly in the same way that you start uh, the server in, in master. Uh, but you're going to see the new interface. Uh, the only thing that I want to highlight about Blockly Editor is that um, in, if, if you have a look at the source uh, file, uh, Blockly uh, uses a, a file called toolbox.js uh, to inject uh, Blockly into the, into the HTML um, form, sorry, the HTML page. And uh, we used a variation of that, uh, and it's called drawer.js instead of uh, toolbox.js. So uh, you should probably go and check out the uh, Blockly sources, and um, you go to Blockly. This is the uh, the repository for for the library, and there is a lot of information in the wiki. So. Most of the, here's the toolbox actually, most of this information will apply to um, App Inventor, but this particular one, toolbox, uh, just take into account that instead of being called toolbox.js, the, the, the use is pretty much the same, but uh, the names are a bit different. So that is the only thing that I want to uh, highlight about um, working with uh, App Inventor 2. And that is all for now. I hope you enjoyed the series and I will be back. Bye-bye.